I mean, FieldView is our digital ag tool, and, and really the, the power of FieldView is to enable a grower to look at what's happening on his farm, look at the different activities he's done, what seed he's been planting, what seed density, what crop protection product, and really look at what works for him, um, what are some of those products that have really out yielded others. Um, for example, I was talking to a grower the other day, and he tried a side-by-side -side comparison on two different hybrids in his field. He came back, and to the surprise of that grower and a lot of people, his TA, for example, this, the seed that he was expecting that yielded the most was not out yielding the other seed. So we were able to go and look in the tool, pull up his, uh, his yield maps, and start looking at, well, we had different soil types. We had different areas of the field. Some of them were you know, higher yielding than others as an average. So we started looking at drawing some of these areas out in the app, and if this is something very simple to do, with your finger, you can start drawing regions in your field. And then we started discovering that in those regions where things were comparable in terms of soil type, in terms of historical yield average, actually that hybrid that he was expecting would out yield did out yield. It was just how that field had been planted that there were more of that one particular hybrid in the lower yielding areas of the field than in the others. So that's really the power of what collecting that data, what a grower can get out of it, really look back year after year on what are those, some of those practices that are working better for him and ones that are working less well. FieldView is never going to make a product look better than it actually does, but it's enabling you to go back and look at what did it do for me on my farm. Yeah, so we've got, um, we, we've got these opportunities to go in. These are um, satellite pictures that are taken once a week. Um, and of course, we, we apply then some science models similar to NDVI calculations to really look at what's that crop health in, in the field. Um, color code it so that it's, again, simple for a grower to look at what's going on. And, um, you know, again, it's a great opportunity for, for a grower to go in there, kind of monitor what's happening. Um, you know, you, you have a lot of acres, instead of having to go roam through all your acres and really having to scout that field, um, being able to go on the app and say, oh, look, this is changing. Why? This was green last week. It's red now. Something's happening. Let me go and target where I'm going to be scouting my field, where I'm going to be looking at, hey, what possibly is causing this? And, and again, we've got some really good success stories of growers that, um, you know, different reasons. Sometimes it could be pest pressure. It could be disease. Um, one of them said an irrigation pipe broke in his field. And all of a sudden, you know, that water was going, going, going. He was able to catch it very quickly before it really created um, a lot of damage on his field. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a tool that a lot of our growers use um, on a pretty regular basis. Yeah, so one of the new features we're launching this year is a field region report by application. So again, as, as you look at what are those things you're, um, you're applying on your, on your field, the ability to go back and draw these maps for one section, uh, really looking, okay, I know in this section of the field I applied a fungicide at a different rate, for example, or I applied one versus another fungicide, different mixture, you can go back and really see throughout the season what it's done for you, either, either through these um, health maps or through a yield analysis at the end of the season. Yeah, so Bayer launched Foreground, which is really our platform for regenerative agriculture going forward. Um, one, it, this is, you know, it allows growers who participate in our foreground program to have access to a myriad of different things that Bayer is going to continue to bring to them. Um, one of them, for example, if you sign up for foreground, uh, you get a year's worth of free field use subscription. So that's one right there, a uh, great advantage for growers to be able to start working with FieldView as they enter the foreground platform. Another one is the uh, paid carbon program. And this is an opportunity for growers to collect carbon credits for some of these regenerative agriculture practices that they may be doing, such as cover crops, such as no-till. Um, and for FieldView, sorry, is really that platform where we're gonna allow growers to collect all that data. Uh, I mean, as you know, a lot of these uh, carbon programs, the registries require a lot of data to be collected so that you can present it to them and, and get those credits. And we believe FieldView is a great platform to do that, storing all your data into one central location and then being able to use that data towards those registries. That's, that's where we're then working as Bayer, working with those partners to say, hey, this is the platform where we're recording the data. How do we work together to make it more simple? It's, you know, especially with digital ag, it's how do we make it as simple as possible for a grower? Um, we talk about Fisher Price easy, but it's gotta be simple. And that's our role that we wanna play, is how do we 
play as that person in the middle that allows that process to be made in as simple of a way as possible.